a bad financial forecast, but Austin ISD teachers say they need the district to commit to them. Good evening, I'm Shannon Wolfson. Robert Hadlock has the night off. Austin teachers are fighting for longer contracts tonight, but the district says the financial future looks bleak. KXA and education reporter is Aaron Cargyle is live at the Austin ISD board meeting with the very latest on this decision. And Aaron, I understand the board is discussing this issue right now. They are discussing it right now, but no decision yet. Now, uh, board members, though, going around the table, putting in their two cents. Many supporters showed up in favor of this contract extension tonight. What do we want? Contract! Teachers were rallying outside the boardroom earlier. All of their contracts went from three years to one back in 2011 when the district cut around 1,000 positions. The district says the timing is not right. Before tonight's meeting, the superintendent painted a very bad financial picture. She said the district could very well be facing the worst financial conditions they've ever seen over the next few years due to a combination of factors, declining enrollment projections, an unbalanced budget, plus the amount of recapture dollars the district is going to have to give back to the state. That will double over the next three years. The teachers say reinstating three year contracts will send the message of respect from the top. But I think it affects the morale of the campus or district um, and groups and teachers that know that the district has invested in them um, by honoring a commitment for three years. This is really about trying to manage the amount of liabilities, financial liabilities, we're putting on a system that's already fiscally fragile. Now, if the board comes to a decision before the end of this newscast, we'll let you know. If not, we'll have the very latest on KXAN.com and tomorrow morning on KXAN News Today. For now, we're live at AISD headquarters. Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News. All right, Aaron, thank you. As for that AISD 2015 budget, the preliminary numbers revealed at tonight's school board meeting a 3% pay increase, no layoffs, and maintaining insurance benefits. Going further now, we checked into how contracts compare at other local school districts. We couldn't find anyone else with three year contracts, but San Marcos, Pflugerville, Maynard, Round Rock, Hutto, and Eanes all have one year teacher contracts. Leander is the only district we found with two year contracts. And new tonight, Pflugerville ISD okayed $287 million in the next bond election. If approved by voters, money will go to building new schools, safety features, and improving technology. The proposal goes to voters on May the 10th.